Hi, Tech Rabbit here. I've got something quite fun this time to look at. You know, I got a new monitor. 27 inch G Sync IPS panel. Uh, you know, lots of other blah 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 terminals. The main thing is that it's on Ultra HD. Now, it is 60 Hz but I'm not holding that against it because my main objective here is to have some, a good monitor for looking at 4K um, video and then on the side gaming. Uh, Ultra HD is um, higher resolution than the official 4K. So it's um, going to my cheat sheet here. Uh, three, 3840 pixels times 2160. So um, that should be pretty good. Uh, the reason I bought this one is that um, ah, basically it was based on um, the properties but also the pricing. Uh, I think it had a very good very good price. It's a, uh, ah, we'll see when I get it out of the box. It's a flat format so it's not a curved. I'm not really convinced I want to have a curved monitor. Especially not when it's video edited. looks like. See how easy it is to get out of the box. Of instructions how to get it out of the box in a nice way. Let's assume that we can uh, this way. static strip here. Just <laughs> feeling the static building up on this pack. Not nice to get shocked. of stuff. So where do we start? Manual. And then there's a power cable that's for uh, United Kingdom. So I don't need that. For the standard European. Okay. Okay, 
a display port cable and almost a USB cable. Okay. Take more from the end of those. I have both display port and HDMI. We'll see. That's metal, by the way, isn't it? This is partially, uh, mostly metal inside, plastic on top. Okay, take that away. And then we get the actual panel. Start directly with the menus. Does it just assume that one knows how to put this down again? Okay. Oops. So, which part should we put on first? Still a plastic cover on the actual display. Okay. 
thing to comprehend. Okay, let's see. This is not the easiest to spell you put together. Oh, pause. We back then I figured it out. But this has to go in some kind of correct orientation related to the locking mechanism and then it needs to be turned and locked in place. Okay, so this is where it's supposed to go on. And then down here you have an A. In here you have an A with an arrow. So what you're supposed to do is to line up A with A, pushing it on, and then you're supposed to twist it. So then it kind of goes on easily, and then you're supposed to screw this one in. So Okay, not the most easiest system to understand. Okay. So, 
that's what it looks like. Protect the plastic. It's actually quite heavy, this. So, I hope they actually display. Oops. Oh, what is that? Okay, uh, shop floor displays, I suppose. Like if you display it in a shop. I don't know if you. Well, anyway, things should come off. Oops, that electricity, hate the stuff. Okay, so, so far so good. So I'm just going to um, connect it into place. So move the camera and see what we can do to see the picture. Okay, spent some time testing the monitor and really I am very impressed with this. This is the best picture quality I've ever seen. Uh, Windows 10 defaults it to full HD on the resolution so you need to actually go into the display controls and you know, set it up to the correct level. But then I mean um, Playing back uh, 4K um, scenic 4K video from YouTube, and also being went into a few games and tested, and uh, uh, yeah, really good. And then um, when I was doing some of these scene scene movies like this, so I think it was from the Bahamas somewhere, and my wife turned up to look at the picture, and um, she said, "I want to have that um, also," and then I told her, that, "Yeah, it's." available on, on TVs and then she said well I, I want to have a full HD <coughs> ultra HD uh, TV just out of the blue so um, now we're in the progress of looking at them and we're probably gonna end up with a right now with the 70 inch um, ultra HD TV as the next purchase so um, yeah if you um, want to go down the same path, maybe you should buy this monitor and show it to your wife and suggest between the lines that this is also available as a TV. <laughs> no, but I must say it's really... I, I, I was going to make a record a 4K video about the, of the picture and stuff, but then I decided, I mean, what's the point? I mean, it's, the, it's, it's very... I mean, subjectively wise, it's... Um, I think it's better I just talk about it. I mean, I, I don't have any objective measurement equipment, you know, to check color correctness or things like that, but, or, you know, measure the reaction speed or anything. I don't have that, but, uh, but I mean, based on just a subjective viewpoint of testing, um, you know, different scenarios of usage, you know, like I said, you know, watching 4K video from YouTube, then I, um, um, set through some uh, 3D first-person shooter style games and then um, also um, uh, started off my video editing software and did some tests just to see how it feels. Yeah. I'm, I, I'm, I'm blown away. This is perfectly good, and good enough for me and uh, I, so I, I think that um, yeah, gets a thumbs up for me. So can, Oh, very bad at advertising. Huh? That product, buy. So anyway, if you like this video, got some good information out of it, consider subscribing. Um, hit the bell if you want to get notified for new videos. And um, yeah, hey, 
Maybe there'll be a video about installing the 7-inch TV. You never know. Good to keep on following up.